Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how you can dynamically change the data source using the query parameter. So I already have a video on query parameter and people like it. Uh, so thanks for that. And I have a comment from the viewer that uh, if it's if it is possible to change the data source using the query parameter so i know that uh, within the same data source you can switch the file using the query parameter however by using m query language and query parameter you can overcome this situation as well that you can have uh, two identical file on two different data sources and you can switch them dynamically so uh, without a delay let's get started i'm going to open up power bi and my file is in excel and in sql server so i'm going to open up a sql server database first and my server name is here and i'm going to click on ok and i'm going to use the adventure works um, dw2019 and my data table is um, deem reseller table okay and i'm going to click on transform data and here we are in power query and uh, my database table is here as you can see here and left um, bottom corner that uh, 22 columns and 701 rows it has okay so now we are going to get the data file from the excel so from the new source and excel workbook and here is my dim reseller file and it has a dim reseller worksheet so i'm going to click on ok okay so my first file dim reseller is when i click on this advanced editor from the home tab and query section i'm going to click on advanced editor and we have this three line code and how we get that that file from the database okay now if you do not know uh, your m to read m query code then i have a video i'm going to link that video in the description you can go ahead and watch that so you can understand easily now i'm going to copy this three sentence between let and in so control c and i'm going to click on cancel and i have now this uh, dim reseller second table which has a 574 rows which is from the excel and if i click on advanced editor then um, i have uh, this code that how uh, power query got this file from the excel okay so i'm going to just click on this my first line where the source word start and if i enter it and i have a space now underneath the let so i'm going to paste my code from which i got it from the database file source and i'm going to apply my comma because in m query every sentence at the end you have a comma except just the last sentence so that now we have here now two same variables which is not possible uh, source and source so i'm going to change in my data source or the sorry the sql server code I'm going to change it with SQL and underscore at the start of the source. So that is my, I'm changing my um, variable name here. And then in a second line as well, uh, the code continue using the source. So I'm going to change that as well with the new name, SQL underscore source. Okay so now uh, there is no repeat of the source there is only one variable naming sor source other variable naming sql source and then at the end we have after in you return last variable so because this file is belongs to the excel code so it, it the last at that time was this change type variable and that's why it has 
in return change type variable so we will look at that in a minute for now i'm going to click on done and now we will create our parameter so i'm going to click on this uh, manage parameter and click on this new parameter and my parameter name is my data source so or we can give a description like select data source then i'm going to leave this required as it is in the type we are going to choose text because our naming of uh, the data sources will be in text and then in suggested values i'm going to use a list of values because we have two different data sources so my first is excel and my second data source is sql server so i'm going to use a sql underscore server so that is my second database and then we need to give this default value uh, one out of these two so i'm going to choose uh, excel you can choose anything okay anything is available and current value as well excel now all this you can uh, learn from that video uh, which i created earlier on query parameters and i'm going to leave the link in the description and i'm going to click on ok now so by default it's excel but you can change it to the sql server as well now let's go back to our um our advanced editor where we made a change so the first three lines are belongs to our um, sql server database m code and the remaining four lines are uh, re are related to the excel file so now at the last line just before in at the end i'm going to add a comma because i wanted to add a logical statement here so comma and then enter and my as you know uh, we have to declare a variable here so my variable name here is result is equal to if so if is our uh, m function and remember that uh, m is a case sensitive language so you have to use accordingly now if now our parameter name is my data source so as soon as you type starting my you have this option my data source is equal to and then in double quote our option is excel so excel then then what if we have a excel then in the excel code our last variable is this change type right and that that we are returning as well so that uh, and or else so if else so if my data source is equal to excel then return change type okay else uh, return uh, this variable because that is our sql server database um, code okay so that last variable is dbo dim reseller okay and then we need to change here to return our result variable right so that's the way we and as soon as you get the result you have here because that's the way you are going to return so now our according to our choice of the parameter this uh, logical statement is going to choose what should be the response which code should execute this or this and um, we are going to return that using our result variable okay and there is no syntax error have been detected and i'm going to click on done so that is done now our code is here now you can delete this um which is our our um, sql server database file we can delete it because we already have that code um, in our second file okay and i'm going to rename this as well because uh, we don't have two files now so dim reseller okay 
So uh, now we have one parameter using our two data source option and we have uh, both data source code uh, in our advanced editor and we applied our um, logical statement okay here okay so let's apply and close and try that in power uh, power bi desktop okay so now we have dim reseller uh, data ready and our default option is excel so uh, i'm going to use one card here so we can uh, see the we can see the results and i'm going to just uh, click on any field for example reseller reseller name and i'm going to use that from this uh, file i'm going to use the count of it okay so we can see the aggregation should be the count okay so 574 rows we have in our excel file where uh, let me increase the fonts so you can see it i believe you can see it but so uh, that close that close uh, leave it that and uh, now uh, we are going to use our from the transform data we are going to edit the parameter here so remember that our sql server file has 701 rows so i'm expecting here 701 rows so okay and apply changes And we have over 701 rows so this file identical file is belongs to the um, to the SQL server and if I go back and edit my parameter to my Excel then it should be 574 rows apply changes and we have over 574 rows so guys this is all about this question that uh, can i switch my data source itself using the query parameter then the answer is yes and you have this video uh, use this feature and if you already using this then let me know in a comment and uh, thanks for watching if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching